Hello, I'm Sam Park. Today I'm going to talk about love for the first time presentation. Before I share a presentation about love, I want to introduce myself and my background to help you to understand my meaning of love. I moved to New York in 2016 and graduated high school for four full years. And now I'm senior student in NYIT. Um, standing eight years away from my family in foreign country made me grow and think about love. Also meeting various friends in New York and spending different environments provide me to think love very deeply. What kind of thing do you think love is? I think love is a puzzle. Uh, love is a feeling, um, attitude, also judgment, and choices that people make and then people fit in and put it together. We share our ideas and feelings to each other. As I mentioned, I will classify love as a puzzle. The small individual parts, which has a different small part of picture, represent an individual self-love. And when you complete the puzzle, you can see the whole picture that represents the fulfilled love, such as family, social, country, and the world. As I deeply go into the detail, for small pieces, which is represent uh, individuals, um, individual pieces are value, personality, background, self-esteem, self-care, such as hobby, having time for own self, going, such as mu going to museum, play game, meeting friends, um, all the things that spend time for yourself, uh, even include the small part of it, represent in individual pieces. Such, a, such as individual love. Um, completed puzzle indicates family, friends, community, furthermore society, country, and the world, the gathering and meeting the individuals together and may complete their love, I will call fulfilled love. The next question is, do you believe in unconditional love? If so, what does this mean? I believe in unconditional love. Unconditional love is not only contains a feeling of love, but also included wanting nothing more than their happiness. Personally, I think includes sympathy, sacrifice. These two for me are the main um, elements for unconditional love. Um, I will say family will be the best unconditional love um, examples, including pets. As you can see in the quotes right here, um, unconditional love is everlasting. And now I'm gonna talk about the lovers. Um, the lovers are giveable, careless, lovable, dedicated, expressing, and healers. Lover provides happiness, feel of safety, and includes feelings. Personally, love is personally love exists because the lover exists. Because of the lover whom one doing the loving able the other feeling other people feel love. Through them other also can learn how to express their emotions and love. These heal one's mind also, moreover, providing a new experience and feelings help other people grow. Um, especially, the lovers also feel loved when they go out and express their love. The person uh, they love, it doesn't have to be person, uh, who the beloved, um, is the receiver. Of course, the receiver exists because the sender exists, which is lovers. They are the one who receive the love. Um, receiving love bring a positive mind and strength. Being special feelings, belongings are the most positive and happiness moment. Incentive, 
in scientific research, loneliness is worse than 20, smoking 20 cigarettes per day. So I will say people who are loved are like balloons. So I put a um, few pictures over here that make me feel loved and becoming lover. So delicious thing and camping, family, doing my work also make me love and pets and especially family and home. So right here, there is a few pictures below. How do you feel when you see these um, photos? Do you feel loved? And what words come to your mind when you see these pictures? Thank you so much. This is the end of my presentation. Thank you for listening. I hope you like it. Thank you.